okay so now we're gonna solve one of the problems that the, um, that cyanogen mod seems to be having with um, with Google Play services version 5.0 or something like that um, so the problem the problem is uh, quite strange we are gonna we're gonna see here that we have deep sleep here 33% just and awake has been 68% so but screen has only been 43 minutes so what you can guess around here is that there is a wake lock that's keeping this phone from being in deep sleep you know so we are gonna go into here canal wake lock and you can see that there has been a wake lock which I have solved that that is because I'm that is the reason I'm doing this video and this wake lock seems to be uh, from system update service uh, from Google Play services now Google Play services is um, quite it's not quite friendly with cyanogen mod as you might know so what we are gonna do is we're gonna go to Google Play Store and to solve this problem now and forever we're gonna go and install the Outrun Manager which is a free app you know there is a paid version but we're gonna go ahead and install the free app I have already installed it so let's go open it and let's go to advanced mode obviously you have to be rooted and have the busy box installed but let's hope that you do and so here we'll see that we cannot see any apps so it will load system apps and will show you the the services that run for each and every app you know so you might find this quite helpful even for apps like not only for Google Play services app but also for other apps and in order for this to show you you will most probably have um, just user apps showing up you know like this so you go to menu configuration and you go you tick both of these boxes you will have it in English I'm sorry that it's in, in Spanish here but it will say that show system apps here and you click yes and to activate the possibility to disable and enable applications from boot um, and this is this option here so you you click both of them and that allows you to uh, um, let's say enable some apps to have or or not to have uh, permission to use some of your services uh, and that will grant you that this system update uh, service from Google Play services will be gone forever so we go to Google Play services and we need to search for three of the services one of them is here system update service receiver now this one has to be off it has to be disabled now not everyone has had this problem but I have had it you know this one which says here um, a Google Android GMS um, notification well this one gave me problems you know it, it here it, say, it used to say uh, four intentions uh, well now it says three but once it said 100 intentions so it tried to receive I don't know what this does because I, I'm not gonna lie to you I really don't know but I have enabled it and uh, enabled it and the problem was solved you know it was disabled and Google tried to do it one again again and again and again and again and again and it just kept failing so I enabled it and that's it no, no real problems now we're gonna go to system update so as I said has to be disabled now this one has to be disabled too which is com google android gms system update service um, system update service uh, active receiver I think it's the name the full name yeah I don't know what this does either but it has to be disabled and also you go to the bottom of them all and you'll find secret code receiver that is the last one this one is always enabled in cyanogen mode as it seems because I have a phone which is 
a Galaxy S5 running TouchWiz version which um, has this disabled by default so it doesn't have any problem with Google Play services I don't know why this gives you any problems but here it says check-in service secret code receiver it has to be disabled as it is in here and this will solve this will solve once and forever the wake lock you know it's these three services and in my case it was four services but the other service produced another wake lock which you might be having and which I already said um, but these three services that I state that I will um, state in the in the description of this video too, um, these are the three services that are producing this wake lock. And as you can see, I have solved it like three hours ago from a post from XDA developers, uh, which I will link also to the description because all credits go to them. I didn't discover any, anything of this. Here it says system update services. Well, this was the wake lock that I solved. And now I'm getting much better battery run times, as you can see here, runtime was awful, it was just dropping all the way over and you know I am running actually in a OnePlus One, which has a very 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 long battery, but this wake lock was absolutely killing it. So okay, thank you for watching this video and I hope that it solves all of your problems. And sorry for not being a perfect English speaker, I try as hard as I can.